Good evening, everyone. This is my food blog for Friday, October 21st. I'm having cod. I'm going to put it in the oven with some lemon pepper seasoning. And uh, I'm having with it rice piba. I'm not adding the meat. I'm going to have the fish with it. Here's two fillets. Should only have one fillet. But I'm doing two because I might eat the other one for a snack. All right, stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Let's get started. Now these, I get it all these. It was like 13 bucks, $12.99, I believe it was. It says there's eight servings, but there was nine fillets in here. They come individually wrapped. I take whatever I want to eat out, let it fall. And then I use my scissors and uh, open the package. And that's what they look like. I'm sorry about the shadowing. That's the oven. It's heated up and ready. I have it set at 375. I was laid out and pat it dry just a little bit. See that? You know, pat it dry. Then I took the foil, lined my pan. And I'm going to use this cooking spray to hit the bottom of the pan. You shake the spray real good. Never hold it over your floor. And spray it because your floor will get slippery. So I put it over my sink and sprayed my bottom of my pan. I'm going to put my fish fillets on in the pan. For the price in the fish, it is not that bad. I'm going to use lemon peppered with citrus, Caribbean citrus with a kick. This is good stuff right here. I would love to have some of barbecued drunken chefs, spices, but hey, it is what it is. And I'd love to have real lemons. I could not find any, so I'm using my handy dandy lemon juice from Concentrate. I give it a shake, 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 shake. <laughs> lemon juice. <laughs> Sorry about the notifications. I put my finger in the hole here so it don't fly out everywhere. And I'm just gonna spritz some on here. You think I bet you took that moisture off? Yep, I sure did. All right, then I have me like a tablespoon of butter melted here. Put a little bit on this fish. And I am going to bake this probably about, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. So it depends on what it looks like to me. And I think my oven just burned out. You guys are not going to believe my luck. Look at that. It just sizzled and sparked. OMG. What am I going to do for Thanksgiving now? Can you believe my luck? It's burning back there. OMG. People are not going to believe this. I'm going to have to turn it off, right? Oh, my God, you guys. That's what I get for buying somebody else's junk. Well, word of caution. Be careful what you buy. Look at that. I knew it. $125 down the drain. And I don't have an oven. I just heard it sizzle. I don't know if the video picked it up or not. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys. That's the end of the food blog for tonight. I'm going to get my uh, handy dandy toaster oven out back there. And finish my fish in the toaster oven. Alright, so here goes. Lemon pepper seasoning. I like to put it on pretty liberally. Because it is the bomb. You don't need nothing else. With this, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. Everything is in this 
right here. All right, stay tuned. I'll try and finish this video. All right, so to go with my uh, cod, I'm going to have Race Pilon. And now Jackson wants in, so you get to say hi to Jackson. Ready? Here he comes. There he is. <laughs> He's bad. But anyways, I'm going to have Race Pilaf with this. I am so sorry, you all, about the oven. But yeah, I can smell wire like burning back there. I turned it off. It is 5.34 p.m. here. So yeah, I'm having rice pilaf. This takes um, 20 to 25 minutes to cook. And it'll most definitely take uh, the fish in here at least 25 minutes in a toaster oven. There it is, in the toaster oven cooking. I have it set at uh, 450. I might turn it down just a smidge to about 425. All right, so in here, I have a one cup and three-fourths water, two tablespoons of butter. Actually, they're teaspoons. I'm going to turn this on to a boil. After it comes to a boil, I will turn it down to a simmer and put the lid on it and let it cook for about 20 minutes. All right, I'll see you in a few and if you're new here, please consider to hit that red button so you can uh, come back and watch some more videos. And if you're a returning family member of mine, I love you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in a few. Okay. Welcome back in the video. I have my rice pilaf. Now, it was just plain without the coloredness, the carrots and green beans I think them are so when it was almost done had about four minutes to go I added about a half a cup of peas and carrots in it and here's what it looks like now I also added some of the uh, lemon peppered seasoning to it because it was kind of bland but that's what it looks like see that looks good don't it I'm going to get me a half cup measure here. That's how much I'm having. It's a little over a half a cup. But hey, it is what it is. <clears throat> and I'm also going to have a applesauce. It's unsweetened. There's four to a pack. It's $1.25. I'm having that with it and the two pieces of fish now it did cook down some the fish it's been in here 25 minutes and I added some paprika to the top of it I turned the broiler on let's turn this off yeah, I cannot believe my luck. My oven burned up. So uh, now I'll have to get a new oven for Thanksgiving. So there's the fish. Let me back you up here a minute. I'm sorry. I'm all miscombobulated now because of this oven situation. There'll be about 12 of us here. See how little they are? So... And there was the second piece I took out. See how it shriveled up? But oh my goodness, it smells amazing. And I am going to take just a touch of butter for each one. See that? I'll lay it right on the top of there. Well, I was. a touch more for the other little piece now this is a healthy balanced meal um, I'm gonna take my time and eat slowly and enjoy this food it's nothing better than fish 
believe me, I'd love to have a great big old ribeye steak. Oh, my goodness. Cooked to medium, medium rare. But, you know, you have to eat in order to live. You don't have to live to eat. That makes any sense. Now I'm going to, I can say I put my finger over the hole. And uh, I'm just going to use a dab on each piece just to enhance the flavor. And there it is. Baked cod, rice pilaf with peas and carrots. And I'm going to have applesauce. I hope you enjoyed my food blog. I'm sorry you had to hear me get upset over the oven. But if anybody has followed me, you guys know that I've had some bad luck with ovens. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do now for Thanksgiving. But hey, it is what it is. So I'm having cod and rice pilaf. Bon appetit. And thank you for watching. And God bless. Don't forget to hit that button for me. Thank you.